Welcome to a special edition of LED Tech Talk News. Today we're going to talk about the Philips Lighting Technology area of the Light and Building Stand in 2014 in Frankfurt. I am joined by two senior product managers from LED Systems, Epko Berger for indoor and Jan Fitters for outdoor lighting. Welcome to you both. Thank you. Thank you. So maybe we can start by uh, sketching what people can expect to see at the Light and Building Stand from Philips. Well, I think it will be a very interesting fair. So there will be a lot of new, new things shown. We have already uh, have introduced all our latest products to our customers, so therefore we do not show all the products. And what we have now chosen is to really, let's say, to focus on four teams, which is connectivity, which is a main theme of the fair, which is configurable sol solutions, a very important one. Yeah. We got quality of light, and the last one, it is called volumes for mass. So maybe if we start with uh, quality of light, and I'll look at you, uh, Epco. Why is this so important for Philips? Why was this theme chosen? Well, Philips Lighting has always had quality of light as, as one of the key value drivers in all their applications. Traditional lighting as well as LED lighting. And you will see it all for the fair, completely. Yeah. Within our technology area, we have chosen to focus on retail, where we display our SLM range with the new crisp white and the food solutions. But I can talk for hours on, on quality of light, but you actually have to experience it. So I'll invite you, but all of you, um, yeah. to the fair. Yeah, sure. quality of light is really something you need to see. Yeah, I definitely. Guess. Yeah. yeah. So, um, Jan, perhaps maybe you can tell us something a little bit about the connectivity theme, which I think is also a theme for the whole of the Philips lighting stand, not just the technology area. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, connectivity is a very important theme for Philips. It is for the whole world, yeah, because all systems now connected, smartphones and those kind of things. And the next uh, part, let's say, will be also that the connectivity and the intelligence will be connected to our lighting systems. Uh, if you look to uh, lighting systems, if you look to LED systems, then 50% we expect will be dimmed in outer lighting. They, okay. Those systems will be connected. They have some kind of a connection to really to control that with, the, say, the smart, intelligent, super systems. Yeah. yeah. And as well as in outdoor and indoor, you have traffic within professional buildings. And in the old days, you just had a presence detector to switch on or switch off light. Yeah. Now you can fully optimize your building automation with your HVAC and with your security. So you can do a lot more. Yeah. And in retail segments, you can now actually control the light um, as we do as a consumer already, with a normal with an iPad. iPad. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So what type of uh, products would I see associated with connectivity in indoor and outdoor? Well, in indoor you will see the components that we offer, Actelum wireless sensor and an yeah. titanium DALI driver, that are the building blocks to actually enable our customer to make those controlled interacting light uh, luminaires. Yeah. 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 And so, and for our, there will be, of course, our Oxytanium smart box, which will have a connection to the city touch system, but it can also be connected to yeah. other systems, of course. Okay, yeah. so con connectivity, a very important part of the Absolutely. theme of the Philips yeah. lighting sure. stand. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Now, you also mentioned configurability, and I guess that's flexibility as well. Perhaps you can put that into context for me, Jan. Yeah, well, so the configurability has to do with the need for a customer to really have a flexible solution that if the customer and the OEM can really optimize their system, their luminaires to the, to the real projects. Uh, that you can really let's optimize the lumen levels and settings uh, and those kind of things. Okay. And on top of that optimization, we offer a logistic benefit because they have to manage a lot of different luminaires, a wide diversity of luminaires but they don't want to have the hassle to have that all on stock. So we offer standard building blocks that minimize their internal complexity. Yeah, and those building blocks are drivers and uh, LED modules exactly. in a smart way. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. And you also have to remember that with the software that we have now today, you can really let's say, optimize the solution late stage. Huh? So you can really optimize them when we are delivering or when they do that them themselves yeah. in their, in their uh, facilities. Taking the flexibility all the way down the chain. Exactly. Yeah, okay. Now, uh, those three themes, connectivity, quality of light and configurability, I think we've heard them from Philips before. They are, they are not new themes. But the fourth theme that you mentioned, the solutions for mass volume markets, I think that is new for Philips. So perhaps you can explain to me how, how that is relevant here and how that fits in. It is indeed new in, in LED lighting. The, the three themes that we discussed about is all linked to project business. LED lighting entered the lighting market from the high end where mm -hmm. A luminaire was specified by an architect, it was spec driven. Now in the old days, in traditional lighting, 55% of the market, of the volume, was not specified. It was just off the shelf luminaire sales yeah. with good enough basic lighting spec points, 
runner types only with high, high volume and low differentiation. And yeah. LED has come yeah. to that point where we yeah. can penetrate that part of the market as well. Yeah. yeah. So and you can all and you can also see that in outer line lighting. So we got this very high specified uh, luminaires which have very high lifetime and, and reliability. But now you also need to have that, that for residential area and for the urban area. So are you showing any such solutions for outdoor on the uh, lighting building not, stand? So not exactly. We are, we are working on that very hard. But uh, it is more let's say on indoor that we are now showing yeah. those products. Yeah. So in indoor we will display play a few real breakthrough innovations, yeah. both in linear, Certiflux linear, and Certiflux DLS, which is a downlight, which really enables our customers yeah. to successfully penetrate this huge potential of the market. Yeah. yeah, okay. Well, I think that if you take those innovations you've just spoken about in together with the uh, OLED uh, displays that we'll be having and the LumiLEDs and the controls, then you have quite a comprehensive lineup of new innovation there on the light and building stand. Yeah, definitely. So I look forward to seeing it. Yeah, me too. Well, thank you very much for coming in and talking about it with us. Thank you. You're welcome. So we would be very pleased to welcome you at the Light and Building Stand in Frankfurt in 2014. Jan Epko and I will be there in addition to many other Philips lighting engineers, product managers and experts that you may have seen in the past. So we would be delighted to welcome you on the stand and discuss these new innovations with you in person and show you the effects of the quality of light. So thank you very much for watching and hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.